What's good, YouTube? I'm joined by my roommate, Billy Brake, and what'd you just do? Uh, I just got top eight at YCS Toronto of, you know, this past format with uh, Domain Monarchs. <laughs> <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about with um, this deck? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to show you the deck list, which is like, you know, doesn't really matter too much right now since all the cards are restricted to one, but uh, I never played with Domain Monarch before when I went. I was planning on playing Burning Abyss, but I haven't been playing, like, at all. Uh, so I figured it like I can't outgrind these like BA masters who just love the mirror match and like live to like grind with BA other other BA players. So uh, Silverman, because I flew to Philadelphia and then drove with uh, some guys, but Silverman's like, hey, just play Domain. You just activate it, win the game. I didn't realize it actually was like that. It, like, it's like an FTK deck so most of the time when it draws well, but. Uh, yeah, it was, it was real fun. Uh, I never really played with the deck, and uh, it's not the hardest, but the first four rounds, I was still like, I was just basically just trying to reduce my opponent's life points to zero, not really doing anything super cool, but then like once I got the hang of it, it became a little bit easier, but uh, yeah, the, I should have maybe played it earlier. The deck really only loses to itself, which is what ended up happening in top eight, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it and talk about your tournament. All right. Oh, you want to see my deck? First, yeah. yeah. Uh, so three Ether. Only one of these guys now, but yeah, this card's the best. Three Erebus, no surprise. Three Kuraz, horrible to draw. Awesome losing the deck. <laughs> Three Eddie, a lot of people don't play the Squires anymore, but like, they were the best part of the deck. Like, starting your turn off, like, I, I've never, like, start, played the deck, obviously. I'm sure all you guys know this, but like, when I start my turn and banish Eddie to summon Eddie from my grave, like, it's just uh, so insane. They really just can't do anything about it. It's just too much. But then, yeah, so three Eddie, two Edios, and one Mithra, Mithra and one Mega Thistalos. Uh, use this guy because it's like confiscation, so yeah, like, a lot of people are playing like BA and stuff, so you just summon Mega Thistalos, look at their hand, and there's your Twin Twister, activate domain, you know, and then the game is over. Uh, so that's all for the monsters, so ten monarchs and six squires. And then the spells, one foolish burial, like the, this was my the best card in the deck all weekend, one one for one. It was the best card up until game three when I didn't draw any, mono, or, uh, any monarch spells, but was, this is like an insane card in this deck. Uh, two Twin Twister, and then three Pantheism, the best card in the deck, obviously, going to one, it hurts it so much. Uh, three Return of the Monarch, three Domain, three Tenacity, three Monarchs going forth, it's super standard, nothing weird. And then the Traps, three Prime Monarch, one Escalation, and then I main deck one Solemn Scolding. Uh, a lot of people are wondering why this, it's literally Solemn Judgment in this deck, like, every game I drew this is crazy, like, insane, like, Oh, here's Domain set scolding. Actually, Twin Twister scolding. All right, well, like in game two. <laughs> or like Pendulum. They would just Pendulum four from their hand. Scolding. Like, yeah, this card is the best card in my main deck all weekend. Yep, here's the standard main deck. And then I guess we'll scoop this and then go to the side deck. Not that, on the side deck's even more like, <laughs> I had no idea what to put in it, so I was just like, Silverman, just like, give me cards and put them in there. Most of them are pretty good, but I'll tell you the ones that were just, Completely dumb and useless, and I shouldn't have cited. Uh, two Max Seas, because I was getting ready for the new format. <laughs> two Flying Seas, whatever the one is. Uh, this card is great. Like, I've been BA, they would Twin Twister my domain, and they were like, special, special, and then I would Flying Seed them, and it's just like the same thing. Uh, one Dark Samorg, so like, it's the card of Demise decks and stuff. Like, if they like set a back row, I could just be like, Ether Effect, summon, get Dark Samorg, and hopefully the game's over. One Spell Canceler. This is because we had nothing to side for the Ritual deck, the Cyber Angels. And so I wanted to give myself a chance just to not let them play if, like, I, I happened to play against one, which I didn't. Uh, two Typhoons, Masker Strict, and Anti-Spell and stuff. Uh, one Psalm Scolding, so, like, when I would go first, I would slide the second one in, and if I went uh, second, I would take the one in my main deck out for the third Twin Twister, which is right here. Uh, three Magic Deflector, because I've always liked this card against Monarchs, but, like, uh, I didn't play against any, like, Oh, I played against a few, mainly BA Monarch, which this card's not very good against, but it's mainly for extra deck Monarch, because like, of Brilliant Fusion and stuff, too. And two effect goes, because this card's the best. And my extra deck, I don't have one. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the Domain Monarch. I, I've never really played, like, a kind of Yu-Gi-Oh deck that, like, people hated before. And, like, a tournament, and it was, like, an interesting experience, because no one, like, expected me not to have an extra deck. And then when I would be like, yeah, I'd be like, you have an extra? I would always ask my opponents first, because I just thought it would be funny. Um, so I'd be like, you have an extra? They're like, nope. So then they'd wait a second, they're like, wait a minute, do you? And I'd be like, nope. And they're like, oh. It's <laughs> just the funniest, like, I don't know. It was an interesting experience, but I had a lot of fun uh, hanging out with friends and uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Any uh, notable rounds from the tournament? Um, uh, they, A lot of them I just won on the first turn, because they just couldn't do anything, because I drew well. But uh, Bowden's match was a lot of fun. Uh, I, it sucks I ended up drawing so bad game three where I didn't really get to play, but 
that's what the deck does, and I was expecting that at some point. Um, yeah, a lot of no uh, notable rounds. I played, like, Ryan Levine, who ended up making top four. He had the hardest tournament ever in Toronto. Like, I'm pretty sure he played more Americans than Canadians at the event. And He played Bowden twice. He played me. He played Jesse. He played Azad. He played so many people. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, that, that's about it. I don't know. Any shout-outs? Shout-outs to everybody. Uh, Court TCG, Household Champions. Uh, shout-outs to Domain. <laughs> shout-outs to Pantheism. Uh, shout-outs to Silverman. Shout-outs to Jesse Firm. Everyone. You know, everyone that was there. I uh, had a great time. Hope to see you guys in Mexico City. I probably won't be playing Monarchs because Pantheism's at one. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Be sure to subscribe and also check out the Zodiac Facebook and stream. The links are below. And always feel free to comment and talk about these videos.